Today, the House passed legislation that aims to ban transgender athletes from playing in women's sports. Madeline Rivera has more on the debate from Washington. A fight is escalating on Capitol Hill over the participation of transgender athletes in female sports. Both sides arguing they want to level the playing field. Trans kids are all God's children, belong in sports, in schools, in books, in families, and on teams. We don't want biological men taking away the achievements of women who fought so hard for where they are today. The bill is passed. The House has passed a bill banning transgender girls and women from competing in women's athletics. One former All-American swimmer at the University of Kentucky supports the bill. Men are on average taller, stronger, more powerful, they're faster. But the bill faces an uphill battle outside of the House. Earlier this month, the Department of Education proposed a rule saying schools can't categorically ban transgender athletes from playing on sports teams consistent with their gender identity. The Biden administration saying such policies would be a violation of Title IX. No group of kids should be banned from school sports, period. However, under the administration's proposal, schools would still have the leeway to limit the participation of transgender athletes if they determine including them would undermine fairness or risk safety. Transgender athlete Leah Thomas wants the White House to go further. During this time of intense anti-trans backlash, the trans community needs explicit protections from discrimination in order to live our lives freely and equally. The Biden administration is expected to finalize new Title IX rules in May. In Washington, Mallory Rivera, Fox News.